All right, so this is going to be an introduction to bases. So in the last module, we just learned about workspaces. Now we're gonna dive just the next layer deeper and we're gonna talk about bases. And I'm gonna show you a few template bases and then I'm gonna go and show you how to create your own base, whether that's a template or whether that's from scratch or whether you want to import data. So that's gonna be really exciting. And in this video, we can just scroll up here. So right now I'm at the Open Siders introduction introduction course and what we want to do this might be what you see we just want to add a base in here and so the first two I'm going to show you they're going to be templates and I'm going to show you how to get access to those templates as well so if you come here right here and you click add a base and you click start with a template what you're going to be able to do is you're going to search these Airtable templates so Airtable is great. One that I really like is the social media content calendar and it can really well or organize anything you need for your social media content calendar. So if we just click that, use that template, it'll pop it right in here and that's perfect. Another one that we're gonna go look at again is gonna be a template. We're going to be looking at a, we're gonna look at a project tracker. So this is going to be similar to a project management software, but just at a smaller scale. So this first one that we wanna look at we want to keep in mind if you really want to customize your base, you might want to set up some like coloring conventions. So like published bases are all the same color. So say this one's ready to go. We'll make this one's like the lightest one. And I think, I guess that's only available on pro plans. This workspace is not on a pro plan yet. So we won't go there, but you can change the colors of the background of the base as well as change like this kind of stuff. So, Keep that in mind if you want to set up some conventions so that you know which ones are like ready to go and ready to use versus which ones are sort of still in process of like building out the base to be what you want. So for the content calendar, this is really cool. So when you when this pops up, you might be pretty overwhelmed. And the first time I walked into Airtable, I was pretty overwhelmed. And since then, they've added a lot more stuff than you see right here. So. If you see something similar to this, if you see something similar to like this views thing over here and then you see all of this over here, like you suggested view, create view, these are actually all current views that you have. To make this simpler for you, you can just click this. And this will get all of that out of there. Another thing you might see over here on the right are these dashboards and you see like apps and automations and that's even more complicated. If you just click this X right here, it'll get that out of there. And that's totally okay to go do. If you build out a dashboard later, you'll know more about what all of this stuff means. But for the purpose of learning how to use Airtable, it's best to just know what's inside of your database. And then once you know what's inside of your database, then you'll be able to figure out how to extrapolate data, how to represent it in like charts and graphs, as well as how to represent it in different views so that you can see it in like kind of a pivot table format where you filter out certain data, group it by certain data, et cetera, et cetera. So now we are in our social media content calendar base. And as you can see here, we are in like, what well, looks like a card view. This doesn't really look much like a database. And that's one of the beauties of Airtable is this capability right here. And we're not getting into views right now. What we wanna do is we wanna look at a grid view because that is at its core what a database is and that will help you better understand how this relational database works. So over here on the left, we can click all posts and then get this back out of here. And we will go ahead and take off this grouping and show all the fields. So you might be confused at what I just did there. We'll talk about grouping, we'll talk about filtering, we'll talk about sorting in a later video. So don't worry about those right now. And as well as hiding fields, what we're just going to focus on is this core database concept. And right here, you can see there's these two different fields. So we're also going to do the same thing with these. We're going to take off the filters and we're going to take off the grouping. So these are the tables within our database. And that's what a base is. It's a collection of different tables. Now, when you're building out your tables, what you want to think is classes of data. And as we get further and further into like the view level, as well as the record level, you'll sort of understand more about how these databases work together and where you might like in Microsoft Access or Microsoft Excel and create different tabs in Excel or queries in Access. 
it's going to just work a little bit differently in Airtable.